one of the big ferries that plies regularly to Denmark. The latest check-in time for the late afternoon or early evening sailing is 45 minutes before departure. Unlike so many planes, ferries normally leave on time and there's a refreshing lack of formalities as you drive on board to park. No complicated manoeuvring necessary, first-timers will be pleased to know. The journey takes about 20 hours. By and large, the longer the crossing, the bigger the ship and the better the facilities. This is the smaller of two busy bars. The service area of the cafeteria can get crowded with over a thousand passengers on board, though now there's plenty of room to try out the dish of the day at just under four pounds. There's also an a la carte restaurant, but the big attraction is the traditional Scandinavian smorgasbord buffet. There's a tempting choice of hot and cold dishes and you can eat as much as you want for £9.50. After dinner, there's dancing in one lounge and a disco that stays open until early morning. Two cinemas show the latest feature films. On most holidays, the basic cost includes a compact inside air-conditioned cabin with shower and toilet. Outside and two-berth cabins cost a bit more. For travellers on a budget, cheaper couchette accommodation is also available. The voyage here is part of the holiday, more like a mini cruise than a ferry crossing. Given fine weather and a bit of imagination, the North Sea might almost be the Med. Before you set off, make sure you're properly equipped. You'll need to take a warning breakdown triangle, your licence of course, a green card comprehensive insurance if you're not already covered, and headlight converters for driving on the right. Oh, and don't forget the GB plate at the back. Driving conditions in Denmark are ideal for anyone nervous about motoring abroad. Roads are straight, more often than not empty, and well signposted. You quickly get used to driving on the right, and as the country is small and distance is short, you won't be faced with marathon drives. Motoring packages are cheaper than crossing independently and touring at will. One holiday is based on overnight stops at traditional Danish inns known as Crows. Typical is this one at Billum, comfortable, family owned and friendly. A seven night motoring package with two nights on board the ferry and five nights at a traditional Danish inn costs from 217 to 227 pounds per person from Harwich or Newcastle based on two people going together. You get continental breakfast at the inn, but meals on board ship are...